So I often get asked about doing a day in the life, or like show a day in the life. Um, so I thought it'd be funny to do a day in the life of the millionaire that is me. I actually think that this video might help a lot of you guys change your mindsets surrounding money, mindsets surrounding like, I'll be happy when. Get rid of that mindset, like you'll enjoy your lives a lot more regardless of whether you're 100 kilos or whether you're 60 kilos and because that plays such a minimal role in, in your overall happiness this is something i've come to learn because i always thought now i have x amount of money in my bank account i'll feel happy when i have x amount of numbers on the scales i'll be happy and all that ever did was stop me from being happy because i was just pursuing being happy all the time and the pursuit of happiness is actually the absence of happiness um, and i think happiness and, and how you're feeling has a huge role to play in weight loss and that's why I know I have a weight loss channel, but my goal is to try and help people's overall lives and change everything. It's not just about changing the number on the scale because that's easy to do. Or you can do stupid things to lose weight, which aren't going to benefit your health in any way. I did see a quote that changed my life. And one of the quotes that changed my life was, was a question. What would your day look like if you had infinite money? So think about if you got woke up in the morning time, you had infinite money first couple of days you'd probably go out and buy shit like I know I'd probably buy a fucking Ferrari I'd probably buy Slim and World and burn it to the ground I'd probably buy a prison and throw Eddie Abu in it but when it came to after that when I have all those things bought or all those things and I'd probably just live my same old simple life I'd probably do exactly what I'm gonna do now and that's why I put this down as the day in the life of a millionaire because whether I have a million or whether I don't it's gonna be the exact same First thing on the agenda is to go in, buy my breakfast, buy something uh, for lunch and have my meals ready for the day. I think preparation when it comes to my life is super important because I'm quite busy. Like I put a shit ton of videos together every single week um, and then I coach people in the background, which is actually the only place I make money. I don't make money off any videos or anything. Um, and that goes for TikTok, Instagram and YouTube, none of those platforms. So what I normally do, get up, get uh, dressed. Are you None of you want to see me with my clothes off and having a shower because I'm not that sort of YouTuber. So main thing with my breakfast and when it comes to weight loss, I want to make sure that I have protein in it. I want to make sure that it is filling, so high in fiber. And once it has two of those things, I don't really give a f what it is. I obviously watch the calorie count. Usually every morning I'll have some form of Greek yogurt and a meringue's nest crushed up into it with um, frozen fruit. So like raspberries or something simple like that. Time to get the f out of this car and go for a walk. There's no point being a sad if you're a millionaire and yes you can still be sad whether you have zero in your bank account or a million in your bank, ba bank account and there's not one single person watching this video that can say if you get outside do some form of movement or walk you're not going to feel better after anyone who does is f lying and i'll tell you what's worth more than the currency in your bank account and that's the currency of how you feel and feeling good and i'm telling you if you get outside that door a million percent chance you'll feel better this fucker keeps me going you can't be sad around dogs either oh, don't jump at me <laughs> Right, you're coming out for a walk. Well, you normally get these messages off people who have shit tons of money in their bank account. Not a huge amount to worry. I still live at home. I don't have a shit ton of money in my bank account. And the reason I'm spreading this message is because for, for so long I fell into that trap of I'll be happy when. There's another quote from Tyson Fury. I don't care if I, if I lose everything. I don't care what happens. Nothing really is ours anyway in life. Mm -hmm. Only borrow it right. till we die and it all goes. Yeah. The only thing we truly own in this life is moments in time. Mm. And this is a moment in time for me that will never be erased. Mm. And no matter what happens, this is always going to be my time. Yeah. This will be my moment in time because I lived here and I was a part of this. Yes. You know, everything else, this bag, this watch, these clothes, it will all go. For it. Yeah. What does it really matter? I See whether you have a load of money or you don't have a load of money like Al Tio here. You still have to piss, shit, wake up in a bed, just like everyone else. And yeah, they're just the thoughts that are in my head today. As I said, I just want this whole video to be something that's just going to make you feel good. Help a percentage of people think about something a little bit differently. And if you disagree with me, that's fine. F somewhere else, I don't really care. So usually with my nutrition, especially recently, it's not really focused too much on, on losing fat. Because to be honest, I feel quite good where I am. Even though I do have maybe a little bit more body fat than what people would expect or from a PT or a coach, um, but I don't give a f what people expect because that's not the type of coach I want to be. I'm not good at starving myself, being in a calorie deficit for a long periods of time just to have six pack. Then these half the time anyways, because unless you're a weirdo, you wear clothes most of the time. So this meal I generally have for breakfast or lunch, and it's literally just 150 grams of Greek yogurt in meringue's nest, and these things are f class because they're like 50 calories, quite crunchy and very sweet. And generally I'll have some form of fruit. Now I don't have frozen raspberries because me, the idiot, forgot to buy them in the shop. But I have a banana that I'm just going to chop up and throw it into it then as well. And to top that all off, some f***ing water. Because again, the majority of people are always looking at cutting things out of your diet or removing this and removing that. And sugar's the reason you're feeling like shit. And or all sorts of 
and things. But meanwhile, actually, it's probably things that you can add into your life, like water or maybe a couple of steps outside, that are gonna make the biggest difference to how you feel on a day-to-day -day basis. Because I promise you, for 99% of people, sugar isn't solely the problem. And for the idiots that say it is, explain to me why obesity has started to rise while sugar intakes has started to decrease over the last number of years. And for the people that are saying probably don't work, social media is the only shit you do, you're wrong. I actually spend probably six to eight hours of my day sat at this computer doing check-ins, making sure everybody that I'm working with is okay, replying to your guys' messages, comments, and pretty much everything that I can possibly do to try and help people out because I fucking love it and I wouldn't change it. That's not me complaining about it. I genuinely love what I do. And I think that that's important and so many people fall into the trap of being afraid to do what they love in case it fails or in case it doesn't work out or in case of judgment off other people, which I had. I, I had plenty of people in my life telling me I was fat, telling me I was overweight, telling me that I'd never achieve this. I had previous bosses that I used to work for would tell me that I'd knock any good at business and I could never do this as a living. And you know what, for a little while he was correct because when I first started this, I ended up 12,000 euro in, in debt. The only people that had belief in me was my mom, my dad, my brothers my sisters and it's the exact reason why i haven't given up and why I, I am where i am now and i think anybody can achieve these things because it was not long ago i was sat in this exact room thinking about ending it all ending my whole entire life because i didn't feel like i could make it any further than i was i was in debt i felt like i had no friends i felt like i would never achieve or amount to anything and maybe there's some of you guys that are feeling the exact same way and finding it hard to talk to somebody and just to know that somebody was in your exact same situation before and made it through might change your lives um, because I know when I was struggling no one other people were struggling kind of helped me out too but one of the things I just want to say to anybody who is or maybe feeling stuck in a bit of a rut is that if you don't speak about it it's not going to change and that's where you have to take that leap and take that first step to try and talk about it even if it's YouTube comments just right now how you're feeling whatever like I suppose that gets it out of your head and shares it with a community of like-minded people um, and that's one of the things with this community is I hope to just support anybody in any way not just in fat loss as I said like my goal with this is to just change people's lives in some manner um, but as I said I normally sit down at this computer four hours at end trying to do exactly that trying to help people and change people's perspectives on different things now I don't know how time lapse on this camera so I'm gonna to pretend to time lapse on this camera and you can just pretend the time is passing by time lapse is normally go some shit like this and people do fucking drink of water and there you go time lapse is over it is training time and to be honest I couldn't be less arsed with going to training this evening the reason I'm going is because I know I'll feel better after and so if I'm sat here at home tired exhausted after a long day's work of course I'm not gonna to want to go but if I know that going makes me feel better after and I come back with more energy or feel a little bit better after a long day I'll go and so that's exactly why I'm not gonna be a about it i'm gonna get my jiu-jitsu gear on and today is an ogi class which i don't particularly love for anyone that does jiu-jitsu it is a nogi class i much prefer my gi probably because i can like my favorite choke would be the loop choke and um, for anybody that doesn't know that look it up um because i'm not gonna fucking demonstrate it by myself here but it's always important to do shit that maybe you're not good at so that you get better at it by the way love this rash guard got it from progress not sponsored by the way actually paid for this shit my own money i've never really done sponsorships for one reason it says no pressure no diamonds and i kind of relate that to a saying that i often say to myself is no struggles no strength um you have to face the struggles in order to 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 be strong look at this big boy here and get the out here but i definitely should have drank more water today for anyone wondering i don't really take any supplements i don't even really take any protein powder just because i don't necessarily need it i get enough protein for my diet um, and there's nothing necessary when it comes to creatine right it's very difficult for us to get enough creatine through food sources and essentially what it is it just can make you slight little bit stronger and um, it's also been shown to i think it's two percent improvement in performance um or something like that and again any two percent i can get i'll take you can get it anywhere don't just buy the one that I have, literally the cheapest supplement company. Look at it, look at the creatine and buy that one because they're all the same. It tastes like metal, so if you're getting some, get a flavoured version or mix it with orange juice or something. Probably the same way you feel going to the gym. I always get a little bit nervous. I always get nervous before I go. I don't know why. Maybe something I need to work on. Um, but I think nerves and anxious are normal. And for those people that are feeling them, I'm a PT and I'm a personal trainer and I feel the same fucking way. And hopefully that makes you feel better about yourself and makes you feel more capable of tackling things because I think as human beings, it's very easy to hide how we're actually feeling um, and hide different emotions because it's a sign of weakness but i'm not like that i can't um i'm fairly just straight to the point you'll get what you see and you'll hear whatever the through my mind because i can't stop 
um, myself from speaking it. it must be some kind of ADHD or something also if any fuckers want to let me know some absolute banging tunes what are your favorite songs before going to the gym and I play one of mine here now you'll know what it is straight away I actually think the hardest part about going to the gym is getting out the front door of your house. So the best thing that you could ever do is just get dressed like as I did, just get changed for the gym. Then you're sitting in your workout gear like the second you get home or get changed for your into your workout gear on your way home from work or before you leave work. And I promise you it just makes it easier because you've already committed by just doing something small rather than trying to commit by getting up off your ass to get outside the door. Like that's difficult to do. Even there when I was feeling like shit, the best thing I could have just done was just throw my jujitsu gear here and now I'm sat outside the gym. Is it still going to be difficult to take a step? in yeah but i always say to myself look i'll go in for five minutes if i'm not enjoying it i'll leave um and i'll be fine but it's just getting up and getting in there is the hard part once you're in there you generally don't want to get up and go anywhere and again especially when you're doing it for the purpose of um feeling good because you always start to feel good once you start to warm up once you start to move around what's the best thing about jujitsu you <laughs> right see you later Go very deep under my leg like this, see, on the hooks and bring my knee to his shoulder and stretch my body like that. Sweet, pinch your knees together. If you can't cross that spine too, and finish in between. Can you do that? Okay, let's go. And yeah, that's training done. Um, feel much better after it. And that's essentially all I do every single day. Um, social media following everybody thinks makes you some sort of person that's different than everybody else, or at least people on social media like you think to think to having a, a massive social media following is the be all end all and that your life is made and that you don't have to worry about anything or that you don't do any work, that you just live on a fucking beach in Dubai or on a balcony in Dubai. It's all brilliant. And I absolutely love the life that I live, but I wouldn't change it. Um, I love just my quiet life, going to, to the gym, drinking fucking coffee, having a nice breakfast, spending time with my friends, my family, um, mainly my family, I absolutely love every single one of them. And it's just something that brings me joy. And I think if I had a million or two million or three million, that this would be the exact same day in the life. Just probably drive to the gym in a nicer car, probably maybe not have as many stresses about like bills and having a house and whatever, um, because I suppose there are things that everybody stresses, but. Look, that makes life interesting. Imagine you didn't have any of that sort of stuff to worry about. You wouldn't have any stories to tell anyone or you would be awful bored out of your tree. I often think with stuff like this, if any of you have ever played the game Sims, that when you give your Sims character all the money and the cheats and the, use the cheat codes, even in like Grand Theft Auto or whatever other games you would have played, it gets boring. It gets boring after like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. You're like, fuck it, sure, this shite's useless. Meanwhile, and you're like grinding for all the levels and making it each way that's what makes it fun and I think that that's the same with life and that's what I love so much about jiu-jitsu as well as like I go in there and I'm shit every single time I get mangled as you can see um, but I get a little bit better every time a small little bit better every time and it pays off and then when you get a little stripe on your belt or you go to the next colour like when I reach blue belt I never thought I'd reach something like that it's absolutely crazy um, or again even with the social media like I've been posting videos for what like two years um, and people said it was lucky when I took off it wasn't lucky I just kept throwing shit at the wall and eventually something stuck um, and my message got out there and like I suppose I wouldn't ha I wouldn't be so appreciative of where I am if I was just given it or if I went on a TV show and just came off it with a massive following without having put any effort in or like the business that I've built for myself with regards to helping people out like I work day in day out to make that the best thing that I can and um, yeah I suppose there is no 
anything at the end of this video just that hopefully you took at least one lesson from it and that's the goal hopefully i'll be able to put out like one of these i don't even know what to call it like thought sessions every single week where i just live my life and i bring you guys along with it and you can see how boring my life is and hopefully some of you find it somewhat entertaining but Anyways, I'm gonna go home, get something to eat, get into bed, maybe watch a couple of videos on YouTube. I absolutely love that. Um, with my evening time to just relax, chillax a little bit. Sometimes I'll work, I'll probably do a little bit of work when I get back home. That never seems to stop, but again, I absolutely love it. I love every part of it. And I'm so grateful to, for every single person that's in that gym there, including my coach, who you just watched uh, kick the absolute shit out of me for 20 minutes of. In, in not a bad way, but just to teach me. Um, that guy has, has saved my life because not so long ago, um, I was in a position where I didn't even want to get up and, and leave my room. I was in a position where I felt like I couldn't. I had so much anxiety and, and so much like a lack of self-belief, lack of self-confidence, wouldn't speak to anyone. And now I'm sat in a car, technically speaking to fucking 500,000 people um, through YouTube and like however many people through Instagram. Mm. But yeah, I'm going to stop rambling here and we will catch you in the next one. If you liked it, I'd appreciate it. if you just left a comment, let me know. Maybe even drop a like and, and subscribe if you want to stick around and listen to this Irish. Um, talk a little bit more.